Hi, good evening. Hi, Oswaldo. Hi. Can you hear me? Hello, Hi. Can you hear me? teacher. How are Hi. you? Fine. How are you? Good. All right. Hi, Tanya. Hi, too. Excellent. Very good. Hi, Tanya. Can you hear me okay? Tanya, you can hear me yes. okay? Yeah, okay. Very nice. All right, we're gonna, let's see, we're gonna wait for the other classmates to arrive. We're going to begin. Remember yesterday, guys, we were talking about simple questions like, what is your name? What is your first name? What is your middle name? What is your last name? Yeah, that was okay, right? You understood that? No problem with that? All right, Tanya, let's see. Tanya, what is your last name? Ah, uh, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, Tanya, that's okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, Rodrigo, right? Or oh, Miguel. Miguel. Yes. All right, <laughs> All right Miguel. Very good. <clears throat> so, Miguel, um, what is your last name, Miguel? Your microphone is off, Miguel. Hola, hola, me escucha? Uh, yes, now I can hear you. Very good. So, Miguel, what is your last name? Last name? Mm -hmm. My last name is Romero. All right, very good, nice. All right, Osvaldo, what is your full name? Osvaldo, can you hear me? What's your full My name, full Osvaldo? Name? Uh -huh. My full name is Osvaldo Velázquez. Excellent, very good, nice. All right, let's see. Uh, mientras Tania arregla el micrófono, let's see. Uh, Miguel, how old are you? How old are you, uh, Miguel? I am 29 years Excellent. old. Excellent, very good. And let's see, Osvaldo, where are you from? I'm from Armenia City. Okay, very nice. Okay, so remember when I say nice to meet you, what do you guys tell me? If I say nice to meet you, what do you tell me? Do you remember? Nice to meet you too. Excellent, nice to meet you too, very nice. Okay, nice. Um, Tania, you're still having problems with your audio? El de ahorita me acaba de funcionar. Excellent, very nice. All right, Tania. So how are you today, Tania? I am fine. Okay, very nice. Everybody's fine today. Okay, so I'm going to begin with this uh, presentation just for you to know. Uh, we're going to do this one instead. I'm going to show you this presentation to say other ways instead of saying just fine. All right, so we have here greetings and introductions. You can see? Can you see? Yeah. All right, very good. So we have greetings. Remember, greetings is when I say hi, hello, good morning, or good evening. Those are greetings, okay? So here we have, uh, Miguel, can you read the first one, please? Hello, how are you? All right, very good. And the girl says, uh-huh, Tanya, what does the girl say? Hi, I am fine, thank you. And you? Excellent, all right, so you say, hi, I'm fine, thank you. And you? All right, that's the quickest way to ask about the other person. Right? We can also say, how are you? And Osvaldo is going to say, what, Osvaldo? Can you read what's on the presentation, Osvaldo, on the picture? How are you? And you say, I am? I'm great. All right. You can say, I'm great. Do I'm you great. Understand? Yeah, very good. I'm great. All right. You're like super, super good. You're like, wow. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Let's see the other one. Tanya, how are you today? Look at the picture, Tanya. I am not so good. I'm not so good. All right. Very good. Okay. Nice. Let's see, Miguel, how are you today? I'm okay. I'm okay. Very good. So we can say, I'm fine. I'm great. I'm not so good. I'm okay. Uh, and okay. So now we say, what is your name? We know that one. My name is Nick, and we're not going to see these ones because I just want to see the other ones. Okay, let me see. All right, I'm going to stop sharing this one, and I'm going to show you the other presentation just for you to know or remember 
the greetings, okay? So we have these ones, greetings. <clears throat> Greetings and introductions again. So here we have formal greetings, okay? And we say good? Morning. Good morning, all right? We say good morning when it's morning, all right? Then we say what else, uh, Miguel? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, very good. Osvaldo, what's the other one? Good evening. Good evening, all right, good evening. All right, so remember that when you, for example, when you start the class, because of the time, do you say good evening, Jessica, or you say good night, Jessica? Cuando usted empieza la clase, what do you say? Good evening or good night? Good night. A ver, Tania, what do you say? Good evening or good night when you come into night. the class? Okay. Osvaldo, what do you say? Good evening or good night? Uh, good night. Okay. And uh, Miguel, what do you say? Good evening or good night? Good evening. Yeah, very good, Miguel. All right, so Osvaldo and Tania, when you come to the class, you say good evening, all right? Good evening is like saying hello or hi, all right? When okay. you finish the class, then you say good night, Jessica, good night, teacher, good night, Osvaldo, all right? So when you come in, you say good evening. When you finish, when you go, you say good night, okay? Okay. Yeah, all right, very good. Uh, y no importa, por ejemplo, usted entra a una fiesta a las 10 de la noche, pero acaba de llegar y usted dice good evening. A menos que solo llegue, salude y se vuelva a ir. Entonces solo va a decir good night y se va. All right, de lo contrario, you have to say good evening. Cuando ya se retira, you say good night. Okay? Very okay. good. Then we have this one. We have good night here. Okay, and then this one. Oh, this is very formal. Tania. If I ask you this question, Tanya, how do you do? What is Tanya? Do you understand that question? I study with you. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Osvaldo, if I ask you, Osvaldo, how do you do? What is your answer? I... Uh, what do you what do you think? I am in English class. Okay, all right. And Angel, si yo le pregunto, I mean Angel, uh, Miguel, I'm sorry. If I ask you how do you do, what is your answer? Hello. Hi. Miguel. Creo que tiene problem. Yeah, I think so. Problem. All right, uh, the internet is not very good like because of the rain. All right, guys, la pregunta how do you do es igual a cuando yo le pregunto how are you. Okay, how do you do is very, very formal. Okay? No le estoy preguntando what do you do. Si yo le dijera what do you do, usted me dice I am in class, I am, work, I am at work. I am busy, all right? Si le preguntara, what do you do? Pero mi pregunta es, how do you do? Okay, entonces es bien similar al how are you? Solo que es very formal. Okay, so you say, how, how do you do to, um, to the, the manager, all right? Yeah, okay, yeah, Osvaldo has problems, okay. All right, so you ask, to the manager of the company, all right? Or to the president, okay? It's very formal. With friends, you say, hey, how are you? But when it's something very formal or someone that you don't know, you say, how do you do? Now, your answer is the same. I am great, I am fine, I am okay, all right? It's the same answer, okay? So, lo que la diferencia es que es bien formal. Do you understand that? Guys, you understand? Yeah. yeah? Okay, very good. Acuérdese que una cosa es, what do you do? Y ahí sí dice, ah, yes, I study English. ¿Verdad? Or I work at Tigo. All right? But uh, the other one is, how do you do? All right? It's the same. How are you? How do you do? Es como cuando le decimos, hey, what's up? Right? But that's very informal. Vamos a extremo a extremo. All right? Very formal. How do you do? Uh, in the middle or neutral is how are you? And then the very last one, hey, what's up? All right, that's like, you know, that's like with cheros that you say, hey, what's up? What's up? 
you know, what's cooking, right? Very good. Then we have, my name is Olga, just practicing name and everything. And then I, I, I wanna show you this. Hello is formal, hi is informal, and hey is very informal. So Tanya, with your friends, do you say hello, hi, or hey? Hey. Hey, right, because they are your friends, all right? Yeah. Os Osvaldo, with the, with the president of the company, you say hello, hi, or hey? Hello. Hello, a menos que el presidente sea su amigo, right? I say mm -hmm. hey, right? But other than that, you say hello, very good. All right, nice. Let's see here. Let's continue with this. Okay, you can also say, cuando se le preguntan, what is your name? Usted tiene dos posibilidades. You can say, I am, my name is Tania, or you can say, I am Tania. All right, so either or, it's okay. Cualquier respuesta, it's okay. You can say, my name is Tania, or I am Tania, okay? So you remember that, okay? This is your, how are you? And then with the WhatsApp one, so I'm gonna show you this one here, formal responses. Those are the, the greetings. Everything is very formal, but it's okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, okay? When, I, when someone asks you, también usted puede decir, ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Very well, all right? No solo fine, 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 all right? Thank you, okay? And then you say, nice to meet you, okay? And then we say this one here. Hello, hi, and hey, they're informal here. Fine, thanks. And you? Usted no tiene que volver a repetir la misma pregunta porque se vuelve tedioso. Si yo le digo a Tania, eh, how are you? Y Tania me contesta, I'm okay. All right, por lo general usted me va a decir, and you? No me va, me, no me va a volver a decir, how are you? Porque eso es como cuando lo estamos como aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Lo hacemos un poco más fluido. Entonces decimos, how are you? Thanks, and you? Ah, I'm okay. Y continúa la conversación, ¿ya? Yeah? Lo mismo es cuando yo le pregunto, what is your name? Y se me dice Osvaldo, all right? Y usted podría preguntarme, what is your name? All right, porque estamos aprendiendo, pero una vez en la práctica es, what's your name, Osvaldo? And you? Ah, Jessica. Nice to meet you, Jessica. Nice to meet you, Osvaldo. And that's the conversation, okay? You understand, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. another way, thank yes. you. Another way to say it's nice to see you. Qué bueno verlo, qué bueno verte, ¿verdad? Nice to see you. Okay, y si a usted también le es un placer verme, usted dice nice to see you too. Si no, mire, mejor calladito, right? You don't say anything. Solo nice to see you, but nice to see you too, okay? All right, All, and you say great, thanks, okay? So that's, those are like other uh, ways to express your feelings. Si usted no está tan bien, pero tampoco tan mal, how are you? Not bad. Okay, I'm okay. Great. All those possibilities, all right? So, so. How are you today, Miguel? Ah, so, so, teacher. What happened? I don't know. I have a headache. All right? Or I'm sick. I feel tired. Many possibilities, all right? All right. For when you have, when you're leaving, you say goodbye. Goodbye is very formal. Or bye is like with friends. You say bye, teacher. Bye, Tania, all right? When it's very formal, you say goodbye. All right, that's a very formal one, okay? Questions, hasta ahorita? Informal closings, bye. Solo nos decimos bye, see ya. All right, see you tomorrow, all right? So that's how you say eh, good, when you say goodbye, I'll see you later. All right, nos vemos otro rato. If you're gonna see each other, have a nice day. All right, or have a nice weekend. Si no la va a ver por todo el fin de semana, have a nice weekend, have a nice uh, day, have a nice morning, all right? Preguntas de las greetings eh, and all those guys, or are we okay? We okay? Yeah? It's okay. Excellent, all right, very okay. good. All right, okay, so now, guys, I'm going to show you this. Uh, da, da, da this one right here remember that yesterday i told you that today we're going to study the possessives okay so we have hello boys and girls i am helen all right my name is helen what is the possessive adjective miguel on that sentence my 
my right my name is helen my name is jessica all right so when you say my is possessive all right let's keep on working here then we have the other possessive just give me a oops oops all right so here we have osvaldo can you read my can you read the other one please your excellent the other one down at the bottom his very good and the last one her excellent all right so i say my name is jessica your name is tanya his name is miguel and her name is um beverly all right so you have my your his is for boys cuidado con eso porque de repente decimos her name is osvaldo oh, really no his name is osvaldo all right we cannot say his name is Tanya. No, her name is Tanya. All right? That's like very easy in English because in Spanish decimos su nombre es Osvaldo. Su nombre es Tanya. El su no sabemos si es masculino o femenino. All right? But in English, his is only, only going, I mean, it's only going to be used for boys and her is only going to be used for girls. Do you understand? Guys, yes. you understand? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yes. So, Tania, listen to my question, Tania. Eh, pensemos en cualquiera de los dos chicos, ya que hay dos compañeros ahorita. Yo le digo, what is his name? ¿Cómo me contesta usted, Tania? A ver. His name is Oswaldo. Excellent. His name is Oswaldo. Very good. Uh, Miguel, solo tenemos una compañera, aparte de obviamente yo, pero that's okay. Yo le digo, what is her name? Her name is Tania. Excellent. Her name is Tania. All right. Very good. Eh, Osvaldo, imaginémonos que... Bueno, no, yo le digo, Osvaldo, what is your name? Or what is your middle name, Osvaldo? My name is Osvaldo. All right. Very good. So your name, if you me contesta my name, right? If I say what is his name, es el mismo que usamos en la respuesta. His name is, if it's a boy, what is her name? Is Tania because it's a girl, all right? So those are the, hay más, obviamente, más eh, adjetivos posesivos. En este caso, we're only studying four. My, your, his, and her. My is for me, your is for you, his is for boys, and her is for girls, okay? Yeah, you understand? Okay. Whoops, yeah. So here, I say yes, I, teacher. very good, I, like I am Jessica, my name is Jessica, you are Miguel, your name is Miguel, he is Osvaldo, his name is Osvaldo, she is Tania, her name is Tania, okay? So, no lo confundamos, verdad, el I con el my no hay problema, yo, you con your tampoco, el he con his y el she con her. We cannot switch it. A veces nos pasa que decimos, his name is Tanya. What? Really? All right, so we need to make sure that it's not. Her name is Tanya and his name is Miguel. Okay, those are the possessive adjectives that we're learning today. Okay, so here we have, uh, we have these uh, sentences. Miguel, can you read sentence number one? Miguel, can you read sentence number one? Se cortó el audio. No, no. Ah, okay. Me escucha, Miguel. Okay. My yeah. name is Jessica. All oh. right. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Osvaldo, oh. sentence number two. Oh. All right. Okay. Is your name is uh -huh. Sandra. Your name is Sandra. Very good. Number Read the third sentence. Number three, Tania. His name is Moises. Very good, right? And Osvaldo, number four. Her, her name is Leonor. Very good. Her name is Leonor. So, you, in los paréntesis está boy porque pertenece a masculino and girl because it's feminine. It's like for girls, okay? Now here we have, what is your name? My name is, we know that. What is his name? Y contestamos, his name is. What is her name? Her name is. 
A ver, Osvaldo, what yeah. is, refiriéndonos a Tania, because she's the only girl right now, what is her last name? Um, her last name is Barona. Excellent, very good. All right, Tania, we're talking about uh, Miguel, okay? I said, Tania, what is his full name, Tania? His full name is Angel Wolf. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ask him, Tania. Ask him. Y después me cuenta el chambre. What is his? Pregúntele. What's your full name? Uh -huh. uh, Miguel, what is your full name? Uh -huh. My full name is Miguel Angel Romero. Ah, okay, Tania. What is his full name? His name. Miguel Ángel Romero. His full name is Miguel Ángel Romero, all right? Very good, nice job, all right? Very good, all right, very good. So here we have, we're gonna keep on working here. Right, let's see. Okay, so remember that when we talk about possessive adjectives, no solo lo usamos para expresar nuestros nombres. Yo digo, my computer, my house, digo el carro de él, his car, Digo, la, la computadora de ella, her computer. Entonces, los, los, posesivos, los adjetivos posesivos los usamos para muchas cosas, no solo para los nombres, ¿verdad? Right? Lo que pasa es que empezamos a veces usándolos sin saber o cómo se llaman o qué son, pero his name, my name, your name, ahí vamos usando el possessive adjective, ¿verdad? Right? Ok, now okay. I'm going to show you this right now here. Teacher, I want a yes. question. Yes, tell me, tell me. Um, yes. Mm, bueno, es correcto decir, uh -huh. he is Miguel, eh, pero escribirlo como, como la H y la E, uh -huh. he is Miguel. Sí. All Sería right. igual que her name, Miguel. No. Si yo, ¿Puede ver mi pan? Ajá. Sorry. That's okay. He is Miguel. Ajá. Uh -huh. And he is Miguel. Son dos escritoras diferentes. And that's right. Uh -huh. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very good, Tania. Se la estoy escribiendo ahorita. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes. Okay. His name. Is... ¿Cuál es la correcta pronunci pronunciación de eso? Eh, pues igual. Igual. Si usted lo hace así, Tania. Is Miguel. Is Miguel. Ajá. Una cosa es decir he is, y ahí no hay problema porque lo separo. He is Miguel. Ok, no problem. All right. Uso nada más el pronombre. He. Si yo digo he's Miguel, también estoy usando el pronombre con el verbo be, pero lo estoy con, haciendo contractado. Entonces mi pronunciación es más rápida y digo he's Miguel. All right. Pero okay. como cu cuando yo ocupo un posesivo, que en este caso sería his. Ok, si usted se fija después del his, no dice Miguel, no dice his Miguel, dice his name is Miguel, porque después de un adjetivo posesivo, Tania, necesito un sustantivo, algo que yo pueda poseer. ¿Qué posee él? El nombre, ¿ya? Entonces yo no puedo decir esto, Tania, um, permítame. His Miguel, esto no lo puedo decir, no tiene sentido. Su Miguel estoy diciendo ahí. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok, entonces cuando usted me oye rápido y dice, he's Miguel, no, es, no están usando un adjetivo, un, perdón, un adjetivo posesivo, están contractando el pronombre con el verbo be. Y por eso se oye his, pero es este. He is Miguel. ¿Ya? Yeah. Okay. ¿Sí están, Tania? Sí. La, la, ustedes... Yes. Lo, a diferenciar si es un B, en este caso, en ese se confunde un poquito más porque la pronunciación es igual, all right? pero después de un adjetivo posesivo necesitamos un objeto al cual yo poseo. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, his computer, ya, yeah, is uh, nice, ok? ¿Qué está poseyendo él en ese momento? Su, la computadora, porque es su de él. ¿Ya? 
Entonces, en este caso yo necesito una posesión, un sustantivo al cual poseo, un nombre, ¿verdad? Por eso acá te decimos, his name is Miguel. ¿Qué poseo, el, qué posee él? El nombre, el cual es Miguel, ¿ya? Diferente con la otra, cuando yo digo, she is Tania, o digo, she's Tania, o digo, her name is... Tania, en eso no lo confundo, ¿verdad? Porque es diferente, totalmente diferente. She is a her, nada que ver. Mientras que el otro sí se tiende a confundir por la pronunciación. Pero ya hoy sabemos que el primero lo puedo contractar y se va a sonar igual al his, pero después llevan directamente el nombre. No hay algo, no hay un objeto al cual poseo. Entonces, por lo tanto, sé que no es un adjetivo posesivo, es el pronombre más el verbo be, contractado. ¿Ya? Ok. All right, very good. Nice, nice question. Osvaldo, ¿estamos bien con esa explicación? Miguel, ¿ya? Yeah? <laughs> Miguel ya cambió el nombre. <laughs> very good. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you, very good. All right, nice. Ok. So here, guys, I, what I want you to, sh I want to show you right now here is possessive adjectives versus personal pronouns. Cuando yo digo personal pronouns, me refiero a I, a uh, you, a uh, he, a uh, she, a uh, it, a uh, we, they, y todos los demás. Those are personal pronouns, ¿ok? Cuando yo digo pronombre personal, a uh, you, we, they, todos esos. Yo, tú, él, nosotros, vosotros, ellos. All right? Those are the per personal pronouns. When I say possessive adjective, Osvaldo, what is the possessive adjective for I? My. Excellent. Miguel, what is the possessive adjective for you? Yours. Ec, you, ah, watch it. ¿Cuál sería? Yours. Sin la S. Uh, your. Your. Acuérdese del your name is. No decimos your name is, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ese es otro okay. que vamos a ver después. Very good. A ver, Tania, el, 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 the possessive adjective for he? Is. Very good. Osvaldo, the possessive adjective for she? Here. Excellent. Very good. Well done, guys. Okay. So here. Uh, this one. Oops. Uy, se se salió el pastel. <laughs> All right. Here we have. I or my? Mamá, es que ya sé que... My. Ay, porque ya lo vieron. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cheating. All right. So, sentence number one decimos, I name is Anne or my name is Anne? My, my name. name. My name is Ann. My am to am ten or I am ten. I am I, ten. I am ten. I Very am good. Ten. Or I'm ten. Very good. What about this one? He or his? A ver, Miguel, hágame las dos, porfa. Okay. He is my brother. Okay. And uh, his bike is green. Perfect. Okay, very good. All right, nice. All right. Let's see. Uh, Tania. Ay, Tania, ya me la vio la respuesta, Tania. Ajá, Tania. Very good. She. Her is red. Her has got a cat. Ah, are you sure, Tania? Uh, um, her hair is red. Ah, very good. Hair, she hair has red. got a cat. Excellent. Very good, Tania. All right. Hair, hair is red. ¿Qué posee ella? Su cabello. All right. Hair, hair is red. All right. She has got a cat. Very nice. Very good. Osvaldo, next one. Ah, a ver esta, Osvaldo. Ay, mire pues. <laughs> All right. We are happy. Ajá. Ah, espérenme, ya lo puedo. Uh, <laughs> Ajá. Ah, mire cuál es. Our... Excellent. Our car is a pencil. A pencil, very good. All right, so we, el possessive adjective for we is our. Ahí nos estamos adelantando, pero está bien. La idea es que vayamos ahí. Uh, entendiendo también que el possessive adjective for we is our. Our class is at 7 p.m. All right. Our class for everybody. Very nice. 
A ver, eh, Tania, again. Ajá. Is it your birthday cake? Ajá, very good. Excellent, look at that, very nice, okay. How old are you? Excellent, how old are you? Very nice. Very good, all right. Ahí, Miguel, nos fijamos que no es el yours, ¿verdad? No hay ese todavía, después se ve eso. Very good, nice, okay. They and their, all right. Let's see, Miguel, can you do this one, please? Okay. What do you say? They or their? They. Okay. They, they have, have got cats. Excellent, all right. And then, very good, nice. Uh huh. Their cats are fat. Very good. Their cats are fat. Very nice. <laughs> Look at those fat cats. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. Do you have questions about this, guys? Do you have any questions? No, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. You understand? Guys, do you understand? Yeah. And there, sorry, Tanya. They have a uh -huh. igual, verdad? El, el adjetivo posesivo de they is there. Entonces, sus gatos son no gorditos. Es, eh, Tania, fíjese que se está cortando. No le escucho muy bien. Hey, <laughs> Pero Hi, no es Tigo. No. What's up? This is the problem, teacher. It's not Tigo. <laughs> eh, no le escuchamos. Sure, you, are, you are mute. <laughs> Estaba viendo si estaban despiertos. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Tania, pero ¿sabe cuál es el problema? Que Tigo no viene hasta mi casa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, all right? That's okay. Okay, so here, a ver, Tania, me estaba preguntando algo del day, el day y there. Ah, eh, Estos siempre son... Possessives adjectives. Right? Yes, possessive adjectives, um, yes. Uh -huh. ¿cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo se conjuga? Porque eh, siento que es como, no es con plural ni singular, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, en español uh -huh. sería ellos. Hola. Hola. No le terminé de escuchar. En español sería, ¿cómo me dices? Sí, sure. uh -huh. uh, Theirs. Como ellos. Ellos y, y suyos. Su de ellos. Su de ellos. Ajá. Oh. Ajá. Lo que pasa es que en, en, en español, Tania, tenemos el su de ella. Su nombre es Mercedes. Su de él, su nombre es Ricardo. Su de ellos. O sus, ¿verdad? Sus nombres son Mario y Juan. All right. Entonces, uh -huh. el su del perro, su casita se quebró. All right. O se rompió. Su de él, del perrito. It's it. All right. Pero en inglés hay un adjetivo para cada persona y es diferente. En español, cuando la gente lo, lo aprende, a nosotros no nos cuesta porque obviamente es nuestra lengua, ¿verdad? Pero cuando la gente lo aprende, dice, pero es un su para todos. No, lo que pasa es que es un su para ella, un su para él, un su para ellos, ¿cierto? Y si yo lo trato de usted, su nombre es Tania, ¿cierto? Entonces yo la trato de usted, a usted, entonces también hay otro su. Sí, hay como varios su, pero en inglés es como, his name is it's Miguel, her name is Tania. Hasta ahí vamos bien, sabemos que his es solo para hombre o masculino, her es femenino. Their es su de ellos. Sus gatos son gordos. ¿Ya? Entonces yo le digo, ellos, por ejemplo, ellos son, ellas, ellos son mis hijos. Sus gatos son gorditos. 
right? Their cats. They are my children. Their cats are fat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Y luego el hour, que sería el nuestro, ¿verdad? Nuestra clase es a las 7 de la noche. Our class, it's at 7 p.m. Our class. Ya, yeah, porque estamos, nuestra clase, ya. Yeah? Okay. Una cosa que yo le digo, we are students, yeah. somos, nosotros somos estudiantes o alumnos, right? We. Pero nuestra clase es a las 7 de la noche. Our class. Ya. Yeah? Ok. All right, very good. Entonces, eso, ahí es como ir jugando y aprender, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo posesivo que le corresponde al pronombre personal? Al I, el my, el you, your, etc. All right. En la plataforma ahorita estaban nada más cuatro. I, my, his, and her. Perdón. My, your, his, her. Pero ya se adelanta usted un poquito. Igual lo va a ver. Creo que no sé si es al final de este curso o el siguiente. El our y el their, ¿verdad? Porque también es importante conocerlo. Pero ya tiene que ver la primicia de eso, ¿verdad? All right. Nice. Okay. Any more questions, guys? Do you have more questions? No, teacher, it's okay. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to show you right now, guys. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the alphabet. ¿Cómo están con el abecedario? ¿Súper bien? In oh, Spanish? So, so. Okay. <laughs> Not in Spanish, in English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tania, ¿se puede, ¿se puede el abecedario? Uh, a little. A little, excellent. All right, what about Miguel? Do you know your alphabet, Miguel? Uh, a little, a <laughs> little. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened? All right, that's okay. A ver, vamos a ver aquí. I'm gonna show you this one. Déjenme solo enseñarles acá en la misma. Vamos a poner. All right, guys, let's see. Here we have the alphabet. We're gonna review the alphabet today just for you to know it. Okay, let me, let me get it here. Okay. So here we have the alphabet, all right? Which is right here. Okay, so you, if you want, you can just, right now, just listen to me, and then we're going to repeat, okay? So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, or Z. Cualquiera de las dos está correcta. All right, so that's the pronunciation for all of them. Okay, now I want you to uh, open your microphone y lo van a repetir after me, all right? A, 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 B, okay. B, C, 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 D, 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 E, 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 F, 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 F uh -huh. G, 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 H, 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 H uh -huh. I, 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 J, 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 K, K, K L, L, M, 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 N, 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 O, O, o P, 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 Q, 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 R, 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 S, 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 S T, 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 U, U, V, V, W, W, X, X, Y, Y, Z. C. C. Very good. All right. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Excellent, guys. You see, a veces, bueno, no a veces, por lo general, a nosotros los salvadoreños, nos cuesta la B grande y la B chica. All right? <laughs> so, in English, you need to tell the difference. All right? So, you have, y también en español, lo que pasa es que no, realmente no marcamos la diferencia. La primera es B. All right? Y si se fija, son B. All right? A ver, todas haciendo B. B. B, B, very good. Y esta que está aquí abajo B. es V. V. Los dientitos, V. V. 
V. V, v exacto, v. v. Una es B, con labios, tocan sus labios, se cierran, B, y el otro es V. Obviamente lo estoy exagerando, right? Pero no va a andar aquí toda la vida, pero V, B, V. All right, very different. Sí. Entonces nosotros decimos, ay, tan burro, decimos, all right? <laughs> y decimos, burro, no, right? Burro, okay? So, in English, you need to be careful. B and V, all right? Very good. A ver, ¿estas les cuesta o no se acordaban bien la pronunciación o lo han pronunciado mal y ahorita están diciendo, Dios mío, o estamos bien? Q. 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 Y... Why? Okay. Q and Y. All right. Very good. Why? Very good. What about Miguel? Okay with the alphabet, Miguel? ¿O había una que usted decía mal o no sabía o no se acordaba? ¿O todo eh, con la I. I. Sí. I. Es, es la, la confusión es okay. que tenemos la E, eh, que es I, y después viene, <risa> claro. viene right. cerca lo que es la I, pero no es I, I, sino que es I. All <risa> right. Very good. Sí. Las vocales también nos, nos confundimos en esas dos, ¿verdad? Very good. Osvaldo, what about you? Okay with the alphabet, Osvaldo? Yes. Um, I, I can the same problem to Miguel. Okay. I, yeah, the E and the I. All right. Very good. Okay. In, in yes. And the vowels. The vowels. Yeah, they are different or they are difficult sometimes. Okay. A ver. Mucha gente, no digo ustedes, pronuncian la R mal. ¿Cómo pronunciamos la R? A ver. R. 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 Mucha gente dice R. No sé de dónde sale el R, pero mucha gente dice R. All right, it's R. All right, very good. All right, okay, very good. Tania, a ver. Tell me the alphabet, Tania. Ahí lo tiene. Dígalo. Mañana se le, le quito la imagen y solo me lo dice de memoria. Very good, Tania. Ajá. A, B, C, D, E, F. G, H, I, G, J, 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 yeah, K, 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 mm -hmm. L, M, N, O, P, Q, 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 mm -hmm. R, S, T, S, S, T, mm -hmm. S, T, U, B, mm -mm, mm -mm. B. Excellent. Very good, Tania. Uh -huh. W. Yes. X. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y. Y. <laughs> C. Excellent. Z. Very good. Ok. Ojo, Tania. Hágame un favor. Dígame la M y dígame la N. M. N. Ah, very good. M. N. M All right. N. La M, como les decía ayer, es like igual. Tocamos los, o cerramos labios, ¿verdad? M. Y la N, su, su eh, puntita de la lengua, toca el paladar o el, el cielo de la boca. All right, so it's like la E, L, N. All right, se enrolla para arriba. N, M, N, very different. Okay, so you need to make emphasis on it. Tenemos ahí después, ¿cuál nos costó, Tania? La Q, the S, Q, Q y, S, y, very good. Eh, and V, ¿verdad? V, ojo con la J, V. J, J. J, also J. J and V. All right, very good. A ver, Osvaldo, your turn. That's a lot. Osvaldo, okay. uh, your turn, yes. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, uh -huh. S, T, U, B, uh -huh. W, X, Y, C. Z. Very good. Nice job. Very good, Osvaldo. And Miguel, let me hear you. A, B, C, D. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W. Dígame V. V. No, V. V. 
V. V. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that's better. Uh huh. W, X, Y, C. Z. Very good. All right. Very nice, guys. Okay. So, casi que lo tenemos ahí, verdad? De repente tenemos en algunos el B and V. All right. El J con la Y, maybe. All right. The R, the Q. So we need to practice, ¿ok? Mañana, cuando empecemos la clase, vamos a empezar viendo el abecedario, ¿all right? Recordando un poquito los adjetivos posesivos y vamos a deletrear mañana. Una cosa es tener el abecedario enfrente, ¿verdad? Porque nos lo ponemos casi que monótonamente, ¿verdad? Pero otra cosa es cuando yo le digo, Tania, ¿cómo se deletrea um, university? Y entonces Tania dice, oh, oh. <risa> All right, and then empieza a pensar y el hamster empieza a dar vuelta, all right? So you say, okay, you, and, y así vamos. Empezamos a deletrear. Mañana vamos a hacer clase de letreo, por lo que necesito que usted, si le cuesta todavía alguna de las letras de su abecedario, empiece como a reforzarla, a recordarla, ¿verdad? Igual, usted va a encontrar el abecedario en la plataforma, en el video, y de hecho le pide que grabe, eh, que se grabe usted, en un eh, sitio que se llama bocaroo.com, ahí grábese y si gusta me lo manda, yo lo escucho, ¿verdad? Es más, no que si quiere, hágalo para que lo practique y diga, ay, Dios mío, este piche lo que me ha dejado hacer, pero ni modo, ¿verdad? Das, das día y día. Entonces ahí en la plataforma está, eh, siempre, después que el, el teacher habla del abecedario y todo eso, le dice, grabe en bocaroo.com o si no lo puede encontrar el bocaroo, no se preocupe. Mándeme una voice note, una nota de voz, diciéndome, teacher, aquí está el abecedario, ¿verdad? A, B, C, D, hasta cancioncita, sáquelo. All right? But you need to practice it, because tomorrow we're going to practice the alphabet. Y tenemos, vamos a hablar un poquito de los números para dejar el, el jueves, vamos a hablar del verbo to be, el famoso verbo be que hemos visto siempre, ¿verdad? Desde, ahí, desde el, el colegio. All right? So that's what we're going to be doing it. Preguntas. Okay. Do you guys have questions? No. No questions, Tania? Are you okay with this? No questions? No questions. All right, very good. Okay, solo tenemos todavía unos cuatro minutitos antes que yo me tenga que retirar a la otra clase. A ver, vamos a empezar. Solo para darles, para calentar motores. Miguel, how do you spell? Esa es la pregunta para deletrear. How do you spell how do you Romero? Spell? R O M I R O. Excellent, Romero. Very good. All right, Tania. Una fácil o difícil, Tania? Fácil. Easy, easy, please. Easy, easy. Okay, Tania. How do you spell school? Ah, school. Oh, S, C, H, very good, C, O, no, S, C, H, yes, after the H, H, O, O, L, excellent, school, very good, Tania, nice, all right, Osvaldo, how do you spell Osvaldo? Hi, um, O S W Ajá. A L D O. Very good, Osvaldo. Very nice. All right. Uh, let's see. Miguel, how do you spell November? N O B V, yes. E M B B E R Very good. November, ¿verdad? De hecho, Tania, bueno, no solo a Tania, sino que para los tres, eh, November es una muy buena palabra para ejercitar ambas Bs. La B chiquita que nosotros decimos y la B grande, porque la, la palabra lleva ambas. November. ¿Verdad? Entonces no decimos November, 
Decimos, o no decimos November, tampoco, decimos November. All right, una B, like chiquita, y la otra B grande, November. Ese es un buen ejercicio para que usted ande diciendo November todo el día, mañana, y toda la gente lo ve así como que, porque anda repitiendo ese mes este niño, ¿verdad? But that's for you to practice it a lot. So your, your pronunciation with the alphabet gets better, November, yeah? All right, very good. A ver, Tania, before we go, a ver, Tania, spell. I don't know, Tania, what can you spell? Um, spell cheesecake. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, eh, C-H-E. Ajá. Uh -huh. Is, is, e. Again, again, C again, Tania. Ajá. Oh. Uh -huh. C H E. Ajá. S S E. Ajá. C A K E. Ah, very good. Tani, how do you spell cheese? Cheese. Um, C H E. Ajá. S. Ajá. S. E. Miguel, is that okay? Um, I don't know. I need to write, <laughs> I need to write. You need to write it? Ah, yeah. all right. <laughs> Jeez. C H E S S E. Cheesecake. <laughs> C A K A. All right, so you see, yeah, si, si nos fijamos, es como una cosa es deletrear y otra cosa es decir el abecedario así de corrido, ¿verdad? Entonces, obviamente, that's why we need to spell it. Nos, usted, los tres trabajan en Tigo, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ok, <laughs> you're the Tigo group, ok. Eh, <laughs> no sé en el caso si ustedes reciben llamadas o no, pero muchas veces el deletreo es como muy importante. ¿Verdad? Para poder atender a un cliente, qué sé yo, y usted le dice, how do you spell that? Y ellos ya le, le deletrean a usted, obviamente, y usted tiene que saber su abecedario porque no va a estar así como B o B, all right, or E or I. Entonces, es como saber nuestro abecedario súper, súper bien, revés y derecho, para que cuando pues, estemos deletreando no nos cueste, ¿verdad? A veces le van a decir B as in baby, ¿verdad? O B as in vacation. S as in soup. All right, so you need to know that. So it's very, very important for you to know the alphabet. Pareciera como que es algo súper básico, lo cual lo es. Pero es como el principio de todo, ¿verdad? If you don't know how to spell, you, you're going to be lost. Igual que los números, ¿verdad? Igual mañana vamos con números y todo para que ustedes eh, ya vayan preparándose con los números. Ah, en la plataforma ahorita nos pide hasta el 10, pero obviamente usted tiene que saber los números grandotes y largos que nos dan dolor de cabeza. All right, because that's like what we work for. All right, guys, do you have any, any other question or you're okay? You guys are okay? I am okay, teacher. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, Miguel, okay. no questions? Okay, okay, very good. Eh, sigan, eh, ya empezaron la plataforma, los ejercicios y todo, ya, más o menos, ya, yeah? okay, very good, that's the idea. Yeah. Si aún todavía... Yes, teacher. Si aún, oh, excellent, very good. Entonces, usted trate de avanzar, vamos a, a seguir... Con la sección 1, ¿verdad? Vaya avanzando lo que usted vaya pudiendo hacer y todo. Y si tiene alguna pregunta, ya sea de cualquier ejercicio, me lo hace saber y yo con gusto le ayudo. All right? Ok, All right. okay thank guys, you. thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow, ok? So have a good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Good night.